Hardly any. Sports Live in the ATL here on this Saturday in Atlanta. Subscribe to the channel, everybody. Uh, click the notification bell so you'll know when the content uploads. Share it to all your media outlets. Uh, 50 50 shot to stream game three Sunday night. Maybe of the Western thing. Conference semifinals between the Calgary Flames, my Flames, and the Edmonton Oilers, Battle of Alberta. Uh, Braves win yesterday. There's a few things to talk about. Braves win yesterday over the Marlins, 5-3. Marcelo Zunik is continuing to improve, hitting, hitting the long ball, trying to get his average up. Charlie Morton, hopefully he's beginning to settle in. His last couple starts have been pretty good. Uh, he hit three homers yesterday. Oops, excuse me. Um, so... Yeah, and we close the deal. I think uh, Will Smith got the save on this one. Uh, Calgary blew an opportunity last night, y'all. Uh, I said so far that uh, the Flames need to, need to hold home ice. They failed to do it again. They lost it in the first round but got it back. I did say that I feel confident going on the road. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not concerned that we can't win in Edmonton, okay? But this was a golden opportunity to take a two-games-to-none lead in the series. Calgary jumped out to a 2 nothing lead in the first period. They made a 3-1, to one, didn't score the rest of the way. Mid-second, Oilers scored four straight goals. And one of them a shorthanded goal. Uh, I said when it was 2-0, I'm, th I'm thinking to myself, watch this game be like 4-3 Oilers. You know, the real, I'm not saying I jinxed them, but I've seen this. You know, Calgary right now does not hold that killer instinct. You can't go up two zip, three to one in the second at home in a game two in a battle of Alberta. You got to know Edmonton's going to bring it and then all of a sudden shut down. Uh, you were fortunate in the first game, leading uh, six to two, and then they tied it up and then you managed to win. But very disappointing loss. Uh, by the Flames, for sure. Uh, but they got to regroup. Game three and four in Edmonton, and then be, there will be a game five in Calgary. Calgary's got to go up there and take at least one. I can I can take in both games. I really do. But I can also see Edmonton taking two, and I can see in a split. If I had to put my money on it, I would say it's probably going to be a split. Probably, I, I would guess it's probably going to come back to Calgary two to two. I would be shocked if it's three to one Edmonton. And they uh, have. I wouldn't be shocked though if it's three to one Flames, because I know what I know what this team is. But uh, Calgary's got got to play better, man. Defense has got to get better. Defense has got to get better. Uh, so it is what it is. But Toffoli scored a goal yesterday. Uh, Richie scored a goal, and uh, the first goal was by um, Michael Stone. We scored a couple goals in a couple minutes. Uh, like I like I said in the first game, sometimes scoring too early, you get kind of lax. You know, relax a little bit and not and not stay at it. But in the playoffs, you got to know what's going to happen. You got to you got to bring it. You got to be ready. So. A disappointing loss, to say the least, but its series is one-to-one, -one, not even over. It wasn't over but for us. We won game one, and it's not over now. It's a tie series. It's the best of five now. There's at least three more games in this series guaranteed. Uh, hopefully, Calgary can take at least two of them. It'd be nice to run the table. But like I said, I said Calgary in six, and I'm still going to stick to Calgary in six. But I'll tell you something, though. I mean, I know bravado is, is what sports is all about. You get really excited. Maybe it's me getting in my older age. But you got these young bucks, every time Calgary scores or Braves score or Hawks score or Falcons score, they run their mouth. That's just not what I do anymore. I don't run my mouth because I wait till the game is over. Now I can get excited, you know, but I'm just not going to go on and start typing stuff and rubbing it in because then ironically it tends to backfire. Didn't backfire on me. I didn't say anything last night. I think I said, I think I did a couple of retweets, but that's about it. I didn't comment and start talking smack. But uh, so the Calgary's loss yesterday, I blame on all the people on Twitter who were just running their mouths. Yeah, I do. I, I, I do believe in that kind of stuff. But anyways, hope everybody has a good Saturday. Hope your weekend is good. Going to be doing some things tonight. And then tomorrow, not sure about doing video. We'll see. Uh, waiting for the Colts Ryan jersey to get here. I wish it would hurry up and get here. I really do. I want to show it off. I had a great stream yesterday. Thank you for everybody who showed up. It was great talking uh, Falcons football, actually, and it was great just talking football and, and you know, kind of getting back into that. But I'm going to tell you something. There was a question that was asked. So, uh, well, a statement, actually. A lot of people say, 
that football is 24-7. No, it is not. As a fan, you don't have football is not 24-7, and it shouldn't be. If as a fan, football is 24-7 for you when there's 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, day and day, uh, afternoon, morning and night, and sh you should be doing things. Football should not be 24-7 unless you're a football player. If you're a fan and football is your life, something is wrong with you. I'm just saying. I see it all over the place. Football's not the only thing in the world. Sports Live in the ATL. Subscribe to the channel. Braves tonight, Marlins game two. And I'll see you in the next one.